Hello everyone and welcome to a day in my life. I decided that I wanted to do this video a little bit differently and just kind of narrate it for you guys because I filmed it in a way where I wasn't really explaining much. I was kind of just like going and doing and so I thought it'd be really cool if I could like further explain sort of like everything I did in the vlog. Let's let's get into it. Let's start my day. So I started off the morning with journaling and so the reason I did this is because I have been in a little bit of a rut and I felt like I was kind of in my head a lot and felt uninspired and burnt out a little bit which is funny because I literally just did a whole podcast episode about that so go listen to my podcast I'm unqualified if you haven't listened to this week's episode already I did it with Gretchen Garrity and it was a really great episode so yeah side note but go check that out and so yeah I, I just was honestly feeling a little bit burnt out and I guess recording that podcast made me realize that I needed to make a change and so that's why I started out my morning with journaling also I did this at sunrise so I woke up bright and early and just journal out on my porch and watch the sunrise and it was really really pretty yeah it was a 10 out of 10 experience would do it again some coffee and refilled my water and everything and just got myself ready to start school schoolwork done and so I think I'm definitely gonna start implementing that more because I lately I was doing really great when the semester first started but now I'm already halfway through and I noticed that the past couple weeks I just haven't had as much motivation as I did in the like beginning weeks and I think part of the reason is because when it first started I was doing it first thing in the morning and then I stopped and I was doing it like midday later at night and then once I started doing it in the morning again I realized that I was having an easier time like actually focusing and getting my work done so getting my school work done in the morning has definitely helped and then it leaves the whole day to make content and whatever I need to do that day or even just to spend time outside I don't have to worry about school while I'm like out and about during the day so getting it done in the morning has been really really helpful right now I am eating some breakfast and having roasted potatoes that Avery just made for me and I also had some avocado it was so random because I woke up and I was like, we don't have any bread and I always have a variation of toast for breakfast and we have stuff for oatmeal but we don't have fresh fruit for oatmeal and so I don't really like oatmeal if it doesn't have fresh fruit, it's just like really heavy and like blue, you know? And so I was like, maybe I'll have some potatoes because we had some little potatoes and so Avery roasted them for me and then I wanted avocado but we didn't have bread and so I just had avocado. Still. I'm working on my potatoes, but I just finished like my avocado and everything like that. And today I figured that I would do just like a pretty normal day in my life video, except this one's going to be sort of like getting myself out of a rut because yesterday I just had one of those days. Um, I woke up in a really great mood and everything was going great. And then kind of all of a sudden I just like had a moment and just felt really like unsuccessful and unimportant and everything like that and just feeling like I do so much work for nothing and was just really having a day and um, I let myself have that day. I laid in bed and I didn't really do much. I uploaded a video, but besides that, I really didn't do anything. And 
I just let it happen and I ended up actually making a couple of bead bracelets just to like get like do something and not just like stare at my phone and it was actually really fun and I really enjoyed it so I finally got around to doing something that I've been wanting to do because I was like oh I would love to be I would love to like start making some beaded bracelets maybe sell them if I get good at it or something like that and um, I just never really got around to it and so yesterday I was like you know what it's a perfect time I'm going to do it and I did and I sat down for like probably three hours and just made a couple bracelets and it was really nice and relaxing and felt good to like do a hobby that I've been pushing off because I think I've been really preoccupied with work and school that I haven't been taking time for myself and I think that's why I maybe felt the way I did yesterday and you guys saw I literally just uploaded like a day where I did like a whole spa day thing and everything and that was amazing and then I went right back to like stressing and everything right after that and so I think I needed more than just like a pampering myself day like I needed to really sit down and like think about what's going on and why I'm feeling this way and so that's what I did this morning I was laying in bed last night and I could not fall asleep and so I was like, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning for sunrise and I'm going to get up bright and early and I'm gonna journal at sunrise. And I woke up bright and early, but, <laughs> so I woke up by my alarm and I was like, I really just wanna go back to bed. And I thought about it for a minute and I was like, I, I should probably let myself sleep. That'd be really, that'd be really good. And then I was like, wait a second. And I realized that I got my period and I was bleeding all over my sheets and all over myself. <laughs> and so I was like, well, I have to go clean everything up. So I guess I'll just get up now. And so I ended up, after I cleaned everything up, I got back and I just laid down for like 10 more minutes. But then I got up and I was like, I don't really feel like driving to the beach, which is not very far. It's literally five minutes away. But I was like, I don't really feel like leaving my house this morning to go see the sunrise so I just watched it from my balcony but I journaled on my balcony and I watched the sun come up and then I got in and I did a bunch of school it's 9 30 right now and I'm about to go to the gym after I like finish eating and digesting and everything and I'm just like getting myself on a good track because I was waking up at like 10 30 11 the past few days and just feeling really unproductive and a few things like went wrong with this project that I'm working on and it, it was discouraging and I just felt like my views were down but it was I don't even know it was like a bunch of just like stupid stuff that was just bothering me and it like piled up all at once and so I had a little bit of a meltdown yesterday a meltdown day and um I'm ready to get back and yeah I'm making a whole TikTok about this, but like something that I thought about last night when I was falling asleep that made me like want to change how I was feeling. Um, so go check that out. I don't know if it'll be posted by the time you guys see this, but I want to post it soon. So hopefully it will be. So I have quite a few things to do today just because I didn't really do anything yesterday. So I'm gonna use my time wisely today, but I already have been, so feeling good. I think today, the next thing I'm going to do, did I already say this, but I already did school today, or a little bit of it. I'm going to do some more later, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gym after I finish eating and digesting, and when I come back, I'm going to shower, get ready for the day, and I'm going to make some TikToks because I've been pushing them off because I haven't been feeling inspired or creative. And then once I finish those, I will do some more school and I'm hoping that I can set myself up so that tomorrow I can spend a day at the beach because I think that'll be really good for me and I haven't been able to go much recently. But also, it's funny because I was feeling really down on myself and unimportant and like I was doing so much for nothing and then literally at like 9 p.m. I got some really cool news that I can't share with you guys yet but I think I have this really cool opportunity coming up in the near future and it was like kind of like a wake-up call like just be patient keep doing what you're doing like you have to work hard to get these things or you have to keep working and keep pushing for things to show up like some some people it just drops at their feet and I'm not one of those people I feel like I need to work for everything that I have and that I do and 
sometimes it's frustrating because I know people in my close personal life that I feel like they just always have such great things at their feet and that's never really been how it is for me I feel like I've always had to work for things and I guess in the end that's what I would want anyways that's who I am as a person like I don't want people to do things for me I want to do them myself and I'm rambling but basically I've just been in my head a lot and I am so ready to get myself out of this rut and so that's what we're doing today and also one of the things that I need to do today is I need to go to the grocery store because we actually got HelloFresh not sponsored we got some um, little coupons in the mail and so I use them but um, so we, we have HelloFresh for dinner which was amazing we had some soup last night and it was really really good but we don't really have bread or snacks or anything like that, or like fresh fruit. So I have to go to the store and get some of that. We also just need like random household stuff. But I think I'm also going to go get my nails taken off. And you guys are probably like, what? You literally just got them put on. And yes, I did. I got them put on less than a week ago. And I like them. I love them a lot. I think they're super pretty. But you guys know I have this really weird thing about like if I'm feeling like a little more masculine. I don't I never know how to explain this because it's not my gender that I'm questioning it's just like the way I dress sort of like I am not questioning my gender I, I identify as a woman 100% at this point in time at least like you never know but I definitely identify as a woman and um, but sometimes I want to dress dress a little more masculine and I don't feel super girly and then sometimes I feel really girly and I want to dress girly and when I have my normal plain short nails, it doesn't affect how I feel because if I want to dress girly, I can like wear extra jewelry or something like that. But when I want to be a little more masculine, I can like take the jewelry off or whatever. And these nails really cause an issue with my self-esteem. I don't know how to explain it. I felt so good when I got them because I was feeling really feminine. I felt like a woman and just felt like really great. And then the past couple days, I've been feeling like not super feminine. And so I have not wanted to have these nails on. And yeah, I just not, they're not me. They were so fun. I don't regret getting them. They were awesome and like really fun for the weekend. But honestly, I'm over them. And also I like cannot do anything. I give you guys so much props, people who have their nails done because I cannot do it. I hate the way it feels when I'm like texting. I need to ask for help with like everything because I'm not used to them. And I have to write a paper this week for school and I can't type fast with them. And so that's like the honestly the main reason I'm gonna go get them off because I was trying to do my schoolwork earlier and I was like, I want them off so bad. So probably gonna go try to get these off at some point today also. In fact, I might just stop there directly after the gym because it's like right near my gym. We'll see. But anyways, I'm rambling. I just wanted to vent a little bit, tell you guys like how I've been feeling because I am really open and honest with you guys, but I feel like I sugarcoat things a lot. And it's because I don't really want to show myself like in the moment crying because sometimes I feel like I'll say something that I don't really mean or something that like, I don't know. Sometimes I'll feel an emotion really harshly, but that's not really the reality of it. I'm just feeling down. I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't want to record myself in the moment, but I wanted to be open and honest with you guys because I don't want you to think that like I'm always happy and always perfect because I'm definitely not. And I specifically wanted to do that because I feel like I've been seeing so much content lately of people just like being happy and living out their life. And I feel like I'm like this bystander who's not anymore. And I've always felt like I'm someone who is living out their life and so for me to feel like i'm not anymore was like a weird feeling but i had a wake-up call last night and i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna talk about that in the tiktok but i'm just done like having a pity party for myself i don't really know how i let myself slip into this hole but i did and i really want to fix it and another thing is i think i realized i escaped to like i escaped cold weather to live in florida you guys know I grew up in New Hampshire and I moved to Florida because it's warm and sunny all year round. And yes, it is warm and sunny all year round, but it's not like hot and vibrant and beautiful all year round. Like it's still kind of chilly and a little bit gloomy some days in the winter time. 
and I didn't think that I would get seasonal depression here like I always did at home and I guess I'm realizing that I did sort of definitely not as bad but I definitely experienced it somewhat and I guess I didn't realize that until we had some summer weather the past couple days really hot really humid really nice and beachy beautiful days and I guess I kind of just forgot that feeling like I'm in the sun all the time because it's always sunny here and it's warm here always but that heat that hot like summer heat is so nostalgic and so happy and I guess I forgot how much I love that and I don't know it just like snapped me out of my little episode I was in and was like no the warm weather's coming everything's fine and it's just crazy that even living somewhere like here you like I still experienced it definitely not as bad but it's just it's kind of wild it's like it's like I'm still me and I still have all my same struggles I always have no matter what and so it's like I guess I just need to face them and not run from them that was deep I'm gonna go reflect a little more and finish my breakfast and then work out and get this day going on a really great positive note so let's go so after breakfast I went to the gym and I said in the video that I was gonna cycle but I actually didn't cycle that day I actually went for a run and it was really nice sometimes I'm just not in the mood to like be told what to do in my workout like like you are in a cycling class so I prefer to just run and watch YouTube videos and listen to music and it's kind of like just like a freeing experience it really depends on what I'm feeling that day like if I want to be told what to do and like get a really great workout I'll cycle but if I'm kind of just feeling like doing my own thing not really feeling super motivated to work out I'll run because I'm still getting a great workout in except I can also watch YouTube and listen to music and then it just kind of clears my mind I I'm getting ready for the gym and I don't know why but they're doing work outside my apartment again I feel like it, they literally are always doing something that's loud and obnoxious lately but it's okay I'm gonna go I think do a cycling class I think and then maybe some arms I don't know we will see but in the gym and hopefully get my nails taken off after but we'll see also i think it's a really beautiful day outside so i'm kind of excited for this little walk and then after the gym i showered and got ready for the day back from the gym also it's a little dark in here because well i'll show you when i turn the lights on the lighting oh, maybe that isn't so bad i don't know i just feel like it's so yellow i am debating on whether i want to shower or not I think I'll probably just take a quick body shower right now and then do like a full shower either later or tomorrow morning. We'll see, but my hair really doesn't need to be washed, so probably just a body shower. Oh, and I went and got my nails taken off, so that was nice. I feel like myself again. Oh, I also just ate some ramen real quick. Okay, now I'm going to get ready for the day. had to go and get some groceries because we were making hello fresh for dinners for some of the week but we still needed like things for breakfast and lunch and like snacks like that so I went to Publix and I went to Trader Joe's so the first stop was Publix and I went by myself got everything I needed and then I came home dropped off those groceries picked up Avery and we both went over to Trader Joe's okay I'm gonna go run oh my god I'm gonna go run to Publix and just get coffee, nut pod, almond milk. This vehicle is connected by OnStar to limited services. Thank you for interrupting me. I think that's all I need. So yeah, just gonna go get some random things and then I'm gonna take a trip later to Trader Joe's and pick up like snacks and things because 
think I mentioned, but I don't have to get like a full load of groceries because we got HelloFresh this week. So yeah, just like a few random things. Hopefully not spending much money because the goal is to kind of reduce the grocery shopping amount because it was getting getting a little ridiculous. Also, if you guys want, you can follow my Spotify. I didn't even like really realize that was like a thing. Let's go. Really quick public haul because I didn't get much, but we got this Fruity Pebble coffee creamer to try. Two things of La Cologne. Two things of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Two things of vanilla nut pod. Yum. I got myself hip peas because I was starving. These are so good. Tampons. And some bread. That's all. I just tried Avery's drink, I mean coffee with the Fruity Pebbles stuff in it and it tasted like alcohol, but let me give it a shot when it's not like all milk. Let me give it a shot when it's milky coffee. <laughs> Look at the difference in colors. It's so weird. I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some almond milk too. It is a bit weird, but I think it's good. Let's try it like this. Gross. I hate it, but it is better with the almond milk. Tastes like um, rotten milk. <laughs> that was really scary tasting, but um, I'm gonna drink it anyways and get some caffeine because I have some school work to do. Ignore you be slurping in the background. <sighs> I have some homework to do after I get back home from Trader Joe's, so I'm just gonna fuel up a little bit and then go right into some more errands. We're going to Trader Joe's now and I'm letting Avery drive and she's a scary driver, so pray for us. <laughs> she didn't even wait for me to buckle. <laughs> HelloFresh meal. These are freaking amazing. I wish they would sponsor us. <laughs> Not sponsored yet, but this would be so cool if we could work with them because we have fallen in love Within with like their meals. Within like two days. Literally. I'm like so obsessed. We've literally had one meal and I'm just way too obsessed. They're way too fun. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be sponsoring them and everything, but. I will. I <laughs> <laughs> Yum. I don't know why I'm not digging in. This is amazing. <laughs> Did you get crema? Mm -hmm. I've been dying to try this coconut like whipped cream thing Yum. from Trader Joe's. So let's give her a try. I want to try after. Oh god. Oh. Let me try. You like the taste of coconut, right? Yeah, I love it. It's like coconut It's like coconut flakes. So good. Highly recommend this coconut whipped topping from Trader Joe's. But it's the Sweet Rose brand, so I don't think it's Trader Joe's brand. But I want to have this with some strawberries and chocolate that sounds fire. So good. So then later that night, I got home, got in my jammies, got everything ready to go to bed. I want to put some pajamas on so let's go head into the closet which is a bit scary can't even lie <laughs> two girls with a clothing addiction share a closet so not even that big of a closet anymore yeah when we moved in fun fact we were like wow so big and now we're like overflowing first world problems i know but like if it were just me, I'd be fine. If it was just Avery, she'd be fine. But the both of us together is like the worst mix. <laughs> okay, pick out some sweatpants. Uh, I need like super cozy. So these are some, these are a classic. Got some sweatpants and I'm kind of just feeling like a t-shirt vibe, not so much a hoodie. So this is my favorite t-shirt of all time. I wear it like four times a week, I swear. 
It's just from PacSun, but it's the coziest thing ever. Oh my God, I always almost forget or forget to close these shades <laughs> at night before we like change or take a shower. And I really need to get better about doing that because I know for a fact I'm giving my neighbors a whole show because I can see directly into my neighbor's house. So I know that they can see directly into mine. Okay. Why is there a potato in our windowsill? Ready? Gonna change in three, two, one. Ta-da! Jammies are on. Now I'm gonna go do a little bit of school, but honestly not much. I might just do quite a bit tomorrow and then have some dessert and unwind. I've been trying to go to bed earlier and it's getting late. It's like eight, getting late. Oh my God. <laughs> it's literally like 8.30 p.m. But yeah, I've been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier, so. Not gonna spend too much time on homework because I did pretty much a whole class this morning. So good news. And then I actually did some more school at night, which I don't like to do. But on this particular day, I just needed to get a couple things done to like set myself up for success on the next day, which is a really good tip I have for you guys. If you have trouble staying motivated and things like that like every day set your tomorrow self up for success like don't always just constantly leave a ton of stuff for your future self to do like do that one extra thing each day so that tomorrow you don't have that thing you know what i mean like for me i had one more assignment that i really wanted to get done before i could do like my final assignments for the week and so i did it that night when i could have done it tomorrow but to make my life easier because i knew i was going to be spending the day at the beach the next day I did a little bit extra work so that the next day when I went to the beach, I could really just relax and do my own thing. Okay, I'm gonna end my night with a bunch of these probably. Okay, bye. And that is a day in my life. This is a super just typical day, a little bit of school, a little bit of work, a little bit of errands, and yeah, this is like a boring day in my life. but. I really want to expand my channel and show you guys like the fun days in my life and that was really hard to do this past winter because I feel like I wasn't really doing too many crazy fun things. I was just kind of doing everything that you saw in today's video over and over and over again. But the summer Florida weather is back and the, the heat is back, the beach layout, swim weather is back and so I definitely want to take you guys along on the more fun days now that i can do that for you and just give you guys really great content that's a little bit different than what i've been giving you in the past of course i'm still going to do vlogs and everything like that but i just want to switch them up a little bit i really haven't found like my my niche yet with youtube and so just bear with me as i continue to grow and expand it's so weird because like i'm very established on tiktok i know what i do i know what i don't do and that kind of thing and on Instagram, Instagram is just fun for me, like there's no really particular thing or rhyme or reason. I just post like what makes me happy. But with YouTube, I mean, I do the same. I post what makes me happy, but I feel like I, I have a style of video, but it's like always growing and changing. And I think it's because YouTube's the thing that I'm most new to. And so I, I'm like constantly wanting to like better it and I get ideas from other creators and things like that. So yeah, just bear with me as I explore my creative YouTube space. Oh, also, I've gotten some comments about this. So let me just address it. I My posting schedule has been all messed up, and I blame it on Final Cut Pro because if you guys didn't see my last video, I think it was, maybe the video before, it was, like, not working for, like, three days. And so because of that, I got behind on videos, and then I don't want to post, like, five in a week. And so... Basically, this video will start the trend of videos being on time again, but for the past like two weeks They've been like posting on random days, but I am still gonna be posting on Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays. I just Have been like out of the loop because of what happened with Final Cut Pro, but everything's great Everything's fixed and so I will be back to my normal posting schedule So thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure to follow me on all my other social medias and listen to my podcast i think all my links work again so check the description if they don't let me know but all of a sudden like none of my links worked and i was like what so i think i fixed them thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.